So today when I showed up for work, I noticed that some kind stranger had left me a gift in front of the store. That happens periodically. A lot of people don't like to throw away their electronics. They'd rather see somebody get some use out of it. Anyway, somebody left me one of these Bose Acoustic Wave stereo units, and it had a little note on it, and it said that the sound wasn't coming out of one of the speakers. Well, I uh, went ahead and took it apart. Fairly easy to get apart. All I had to do is take out the seven screws back here. One, two, three, four, I guess somewhere there were seven. Anyway, this thing comes right off the top here. Fairly easy disassembly, although it did take a little bit of yanking to actually get it off. And anyway, I went ahead and I hooked this thing up here. And one of the first things I noticed was that the, the sound on it had a very staticky sound, kind of intermittent when I slid the volume control up or down. And that's a fairly common thing on the older stereo units. Usually you'll see it with the potentiometers like this. You'll turn them, you'll hear a little bit of a crackling noise. And that's usually an easy fix just by taking the uh, electronic cleaner and lubricant, getting up underneath where the slide potentiometer is, and spraying the thing, making sure that the solvent goes inside of the, uh, the uh, contact points there. And that took care of it. And then the second thing I had to deal with was the sound not coming out of one of the speakers. Now, my first thought was that I'd probably had a blown transistor, or maybe a bad speaker. But after further investigation, I noticed that whenever I touched the switch here, it just moved it just the right position. All of a sudden, the sound would start coming out of the speaker here. So what I had concluded was that it had just oxidized, just like the uh, slide potentiometer had on the volume control. So what I did was I was able to very carefully get a little paper clip underneath here to where I could pull that flap up a little bit. And I was able to take my spray and spray right inside there. And when I was done, it worked perfectly. Now, I've been using this stuff for years. In fact, in the old days, uh, anybody that used to work on the old TVs, we had to use the tuner cleaner all the time for the uh, rotary tuners on TVs. Of course, you don't see this thing, this sort of a thing anymore. But uh, anyway, that's, that's where I got started with this stuff. In fact, that was actually a very good money maker in the old days. But... Uh, Nowadays, everything's automatic or you use a remote control. Anyway, so one of the problems I've encountered in trying to clean out these uh, potentiometers is periodically you run into one or a slide switch that there's no access port to it. Like this one here, for example. This is, I guess you can go ahead and call this a slide switch. And if you look it over, you'll notice it has no, no actual ports on it. And the way I've been able to get the, the uh, spray to go in down inside to clean the contacts on something like this is usually I'll hold my spray nozzle right at the end here and I'll have this in a vertical position <clears throat> and I keep pushing the button up and down as I'm spraying it and that usually gets the uh, the spray cleaner to go it down inside it sometimes it takes a while the same thing with the uh, shafts on these uh, potentiometers here here's one for example it's absolutely sealed there's no access port to it whatsoever and I've been in situations where I had to drill a little teeny hole, hole just to get the uh, the cleaner to go inside. <clears throat> and it usually works. I've also found that on occasion I'm able to spray right at the uh, entrance to the uh, potentiometer here, right next to the shaft in this housing. And if you spray it for a while and turn the controller, oftentimes you're able to get the uh, spray to go in, down inside that way too. Although it's a pretty pretty fine tolerance there so it may not be that easy if, if you can drill a hole without dr drilling too far and damaging things sometimes that's a better way to go uh, on the other hand one like this here you can see oh not that one where's the this one here you can see it's got those ports right next to the terminals it's easy to get in there with your spray and spray that one out anyway i just thought i'd do a quick video on that as always i hope you enjoy the video if you do please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe I go ahead and pull that out of there now.